Happy Thursday, y'all. If I sound like a frog, forgive me. I actually started not to do a video, and I was like, you know, this is real. And then one of them germ toters, because I know there was some sickness in Felicia's house a week ago, and you know, we had the boys. Well, they done come and brought me a summer cold. Thought it was allergies. Mm-mm. But, I'm actually feeling better. I don't sound better. Well, yes, I do. Yesterday, it was it was bad. But y'all, night before last, I went and I pulled that oregano oil out that you know we made together. And I started rubbing it, rubbing it here. And I even, let's see, yesterday morning, last night and this morning, I took about three drops of it. That's it, you know, you don't want to overdo. Under my tongue, I am feeling a lot better. So I'm going to contribute to that and rest yesterday. Well, I did have to walk to the garden and check things. But I wasn't going to do a video, and I was like, yep, I'm going to do a video. Because there's some storms rolling in. Now, originally, this morning's radar indicated it was going to stay more north of us, south, down by Houston and then come across, well, about, I don't know, 45 minutes ago, my phone goes off, and then I went to Doppler ra radar, and I started looking, and I was tracking, and I was like, yuck. So the first band's at 3.30, then it's gonna really ramp up. So I went and moved my car underneath the awning. It's only cockeyed, half in, because the four-wheelers are there, the boys, the little Jeep of Moe's and the other one. So hopefully Buddy will get home in time to move that around and get my vehicle. Cause they're, they're actually saying low risk for tornadoes, can't rule it out, but hail and high winds. I said, uh oh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and cook our supper now. If we lose power, we can hook this, uh, it's a, like a tailgate generator up to run the microwave to heat our food because the um, tiger tails that we made that evening that I started feeling really, mm, um, we had that yesterday, or he did. I ate a lot of grapes. I'll just be honest. I lived on grapes and some bananas and a few crackers. I couldn't taste nothing. I even drank just tea, but I can taste my coffee. Hello, we're on the road to recovery. So I know I'll be able to taste this meal, but by cooking this now, we can reheat if need be with or without power. And this also will make supper for tomorrow night. So even though the chef is sick, you still got to provide a good meal. And I was like, I'm just going to keep this real. And yes, we're going to use cream of mushroom soup. Mm-hmm. So we have skillet okra. I don't know if I've ever done a video on that. We're gonna have um, some hot water cornbread. I have some leftover cream style corn that I had in the freezer. I, I originally pulled it out for this weekend to make hush puppies, but we're gonna make some cream style hot water cornbread and we're gonna do potato. And this is ground beef, not ground pork. Let's see, it's been three weeks. So we can have ground pork. We have to limit the amount of beef that Mr. Buddy has, uh, or able to have. I think it's four ounces a week, and we're not big beef eaters. But I'm gonna go ahead and use beef, because um, I still have plenty of it. And I'm getting a little bit lower on my pork, so it's like, <clears throat> let's use the beef and save the pork. Mm-hmm, for special occasions. This is just lippy supper. So hey, it may be a meal that y'all wanna try, I think I've made the potato and ground meat casserole before. I'm not really sure. Who knows? This may be a repeat. Y'all, I can't keep up. But whatever we're going to call it, we're going to call it supper here. So, potato meat casserole. I don't know. Potato and meat casserole. <laughs> Boy, I'm original, ain't I? <laughs> I can still laugh even though I'm sick and I sound like a frog. No, I'm not sick. I just sound like a frog. 
But over here is just ground meat. No, no nothing on it. It's just ground meat, and this is like a, a 97.3, so we're not going to have a lot of grease. I don't need to show y'all how to brown it. Now, I ain't putting nothing in that skillet either. So, I don't need to show y'all how to brown ground beef. So, I guess what I need to do is let's get the okra going. Because that takes, I do mine low and slow. So, why don't we go over there? I'll move y'all. We'll do the okra. We're using some lard that I put up about a month ago, five weeks ago. So, we're going to use lard. Let's get the okra going. Because the last thing we want to do is the hot water cornbread. And y'all, look at, look at this. Y'all see it light up? That's my teapot. Mm -hmm. My great friends gifted me that a couple of months ago. I always keep it in the pantry, but I pull it out if I need boiling water. It's been out here for three days for my tea. So, look at it. I'm talking about it boils in like a blink of an eye. That's the, the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I never owned one of those. Y'all know I had an old teapot. 15 years old, it split. And I've just been using a saucepan. That right there, yeah, I don't know what it's called. Electric water kettle, I guess. I don't know. All I know is I love it. Let's go do that okra. Whew. I can taste coffee again. Okay, we're sitting on about medium heat. And that's about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of lard. Now, you can use any kind of oil that you want to use. You can use baking grease, but I'm going to use my lard. And we're going to get this melted. You don't really want too much in the bottom of this pot, but I know about how much okra I'm putting in here, so we'll see where we're at. Oh, yeah, y'all can see both skillets. Good deal. Now, I've got my meat. Halfway browned. I'm adding a medium sweet onion and a half of a red bell that I had in the icebox. Now I'm sitting on a medium heat over here. I'll move y'all in closer once we get that okra going. This is just a small one pound bag of breaded okra. Now y'all know I have fresh okra that's in the freezer, but when I do okra like this, I want it breaded. Let me test it. It is not there yet. I'm gonna turn the heat up. I really want it sizzling because we're actually gonna smother fry it. So I'm just gonna let that sit there and then I'll pull it out because it's gonna be loaded in grease and I don't want that. All right, we're sitting on an eight here. We're going to season with the voodoo mix. Different pepper blends and some salt. A little bit of garlic that's in this blend. It's three different pepper blends. And oh boy, I might sneeze. I hope not. All right, we're going to get this one out. Like I said, I didn't want that in there because it's done absorbed a lot of grease. I see a little bit of smoke. Okay, hope y'all can see. And that's what I want. You hear that sizzle? And you're thinking, wow, that's not much oil. Yep, that's plenty because we're going to smother fry it. And all I'm going to do is let this cook and I'm just going to keep folding it, but I'll leave the camera on and off so y'all can see. Now I'm going to turn my heat up now that I can concentrate on this. And I'll just be stirring that. Okay, let's give our okra a flip. And that's basically all I'm doing is flipping it. And this is going to smother down. It's going to be very crispy. But it does take a while. Okay, I'm going to add a heaping teaspoon of minced garlic. And I'm turning the fire off. This is exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to add, let me take a guess, probably a good tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. 
Let's get this moved. All right, let's start turning it. Look at those brown bits. Maybe this much. Can y'all see this beautiful color? Oh my. Now I do have my oven preheated on 375, if I didn't tell y'all. Okay, to this saucepan, I'm gonna put it about a four. I'm gonna add one can of cream of mushroom soup. And this is the lower sodium. You wanna get all of that out of there. Because I'm going to use this as my measuring cup. And it may make it easier for y'all. Okay, I've got a half a cup of beef broth. We're going to add that. In goes our milk. Because we're going to be layering this casserole. Let's come back and check on our okra. This is something you can't walk away from. Now, it's going to get a little dark on you, but that's what you want. You want all of that breading to crisp up. And it will fall off some of this okra. And it'll make really, oh, delicious little crusty bits to eat on. That's the grandkids' favorite. Now, I will flavor this with some voodoo. And just a little shake of Worcestershire. And we're going to bring this up to a bowl. Okay, I moved to a whisk so I could get it thoroughly combined. Back to our okra. You see, I'm flipping it about every two or three minutes. So y'all still with me? I mean, you know, y'all been saying y'all wanted to come sit in the kitchen. Well, y'all in the kitchen now. So let's get this. Oh, I got to drain my potatoes. I'm sorry. See, I just cut them about like that. But I got to drain them. You really don't want them wet. So I'm going to have to drain them, get a paper towel, and dry them off. Okay, I've got them drained. Got a paper towel sitting in here. But I need to salt and pepper the okra. That's the only season I'm going to do. This It's starting to all get brown, but it still has another 10 minutes to go. So this is the time that I'm gonna salt and pepper and that's it. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of seasoning because we're trying to taste the okra. So let me get these dried off and then we'll start assembling and I've got to salt and pepper the okra. I do have a block of grated cheddar cheese. This is medium cheddar. Uh, you can use mild, sharp, but I grated a whole block. We may end up using the whole block. Can you see? Yeah. So I'm going to put, you're thinking, boy, that's liquidy. Yes, but it's going to take this with the amount of potatoes. All right, I'm just going to lay these in here. It doesn't have to be uniform. Okay, I'm going to add a layer of meat. And it's basically just building layers. Okay, let's add a little bit more of our liquid. Cause you gotta have enough liquid to cook this these potatoes. Okay. Yeah, y'all can see. I'm just gonna put some cheese. Uh, let's put one down here. And let's put one here. Wherever there's an empty spot, y'all see what I'm doing. Okay, I went ahead and used the rest of the meat. I was gonna do a three layer, but I went ahead and Said, I'm just gonna do it like this. Cause I'm not through yet. I gotta go stir okra. Okay. Since I want to put a little, I uh, use some more of these potatoes, I'm just gonna skip the sauce and add a little bit of cheese right here. And I'm still gonna leave enough for the top. There we go. Like I said, it, there's really no you know, method to this. You just do it however you're comfortable doing it. Now, I will not be putting the last layer of cheese on right now. I'll do that about five minutes before it's done. 
because we're going to bake this about an hour. And then I will take the foil off, and that's when I'll add the rest of the cheese and just put it back in the oven just long enough to melt. Now, if I would have put cheese on, it would have stuck all to this aluminum foil. Now, if you have a baking dish that has a heat-proof lid, by all means, use that. 375, one hour. And there is our smothered crispy okra. I'm just gonna add, since it's just him and I, I'm gonna add probably, if you was to measure that, four tablespoons of cream style corn. And this is just plain yellow cornmeal. I don't know if y'all can, I keep it in this big container, guys. It's about a half a cup with a scant. We're gonna get this blended because we gotta put the bowl and water in here. And it's all about consistency. I can't really tell y'all how much, but if I get it too liquidy, the good thing about it, you can just add more cornmeal. But I think I'm where I need to be. Oh yeah. Add some black pepper. And a couple of pinches of salt. Because the corn's gonna give it a sweetness. Now, you could grate you some onions in here, but I'm just gonna keep this simple. This is the consistency that I'm looking for. But by using that boiling water, we've helped cook some of that cornmeal. I'm gonna put mine on like a medium to high. This is the skillet that the okra come out of, and all I did was wipe it out. You see, it didn't stick or anything, so we're gonna use it. And we're gonna add, you don't want too much oil, but I'm gonna start off with like a teaspoon. You hear that sizzle? And I see my burner is a little bit off, offset. I can get three in here. Okay, we're gonna flip the first one just to see how it looks. Okay, that lets me know I need to go a little bit longer. This other one turns. Oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. And I just kind of mashed mine down, y'all. Now when you hear them kind of stop sizzling, then you know that they are ready. Very crispy, very tender, let's see. Oh yeah. And just like that, supper is ready. Y'all look at that okra. That's amazing stuff right there. I'm sampling the hot water cornbread. Just that little bit of corn. It's got that hint of sweetness. I mean, I'm tasting it, but I'm not really tasting it. Yeah, my taste is still off, but it's good what I'm tasting. <laughs> my favorite part of this meal. That's amazing. So I know it's gonna be like a hundred times more amazing if I had taste buds. Guys, it's the crispy. Now, I know y'all can't hear the crispy because it's been sitting about 30 minutes. But it's got a little bit of crisp to it. It's just simple and good. Now, the potato, what do we call it? Potato meat casserole? I don't know. I had to let it cool, but I'm gonna taste a little bit of it. Here it goes. It is smoking. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm burning my mouth. I may not have taste buds, but I can feel heat. Here we go. Mmm. 
Y'all, that's just comfort food right there. Now, I'm going to enjoy my meal. I'm actually kind of tasting that. I'm actually kind of tasting a little heat. That'd be from my heavy hand. But we like that. Yeah, I went heavy handed. <laughs> and Mr. Buddy gonna love it. I'm gonna sit here and choke. <laughs> I can't be laughing, I start coughing. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and eat. He just pulled in. I'm gonna fix his plate. I'm gonna get this uploaded. Yeah, storms are coming in, and um, according to Miss Ree, she just texted me and said, um, you got storms tomorrow. I was like, tomorrow? Thought it was tonight. So I don't know, I gotta go look. It may be two days. Excuse me, y'all. I had to step off camera, I had to sneeze. <laughs> Who does videos when they sick? Me. So, we're going to try to do a live tomorrow. It depends on the weather. Uh, we don't have no ball games because, well, we must be going to get weather because they canceled already because of the rain. Uh, hello, Lippy. <laughs> Y'all have been out of this world for about a day and a half, roughly. So, you know, I kind of slept through yesterday. I'll be honest with you. I don't sleep. Yesterday, that's all of my body wanted to do was sleep. So, as always, stay safe. I'm going to sneeze again. And stay well, and God bless. And I will see you all the next one. Y'all, say a prayer for me.